Hey, 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 guys! Welcome back to Hehe Gaming's channel. So happy to see you all again. In today's video, I'll be sharing my attachments for Peacekeeper MK2 and why I think it's probably the new meta weapon this season because it is way too OP. Let's get right into it. First, let's take a look at its basic stats. It has 41 damage, 58 accuracy, 54 range, 65 fire rate, 69 mobility, and 54 control. A very moderate gun, not a lot of damage, but makes it up for fire rate and mobility. When not suppressed, the gun has quite a lot of recoil both horizontally and vertically. When suppressed, the vertical recoil can be reduced but not so much for the horizontal recoil. If we compare it to ASM-10 that quite a lot of people are using now, the 49 damage and 72 accuracy is really promising from the ASM-10, which is why we'll talk about the attachments now. I currently have two loadouts for Peacekeeper MK2. The first one I'm showing you is a little more SMG based and best for rushing. You can see now, compared to base stats, it has a much higher accuracy at 76, longer range at 62, higher mobility at 83, and more control at 59. The first attachment to introduce is the built-in silence barrel. It gives you silence fire and additional 25% damage range. One of the best attachments for you silencer lovers. The second attachment to introduce is the agile stalk. It gives you reduced 30% sprint to fire delay and additional 40% ADS movement speed. This attachment would make you the first to fire after sprinting. The increased hip fire spread won't do much harm to this build. The third attachment is Field Agent Foregrip. It gives you reduced 10% vertical recoil and 40% horizontal recoil. A great attachment for gun control. Again, the reduced ADS movement speed won't harm us too much because of the additional 40% ADS movement speed we buffed from Agile Stock. The fourth attachment is Double Stack Mag. The additional 10 bullets from the original 25 bullets makes a huge difference when you're up against a 1v2 or 1v3. And thanks to the reduced 25% reload time, you can get back to battle much quicker. The reduced ADS time might be a disadvantage, but this gets balanced out with our fifth attachment, which is Firm Grip Tape, giving us a crazy 25% ADS time reduction and 90% hit flinch reduction, which also means that we can free out the toughness perk and equip other perks such as Quick Fix and Amped. The second loadout for Peacekeeper MK2 is a more long-range based AR type with even higher accuracy. It has accuracy at 87 and range at 70. The attachments I've changed from the first loadout is Well Forged Barrel, which increases our damage range by 50%. And the second attachment is Aim Assist Laser, which reduces 20% ADS bullet spread, giving us more accuracy for mid to long range battles. When not suppressed, the gun has some vertical recoil. When suppressed, the bullet spread and recoil is significantly reduced. At 10 meter range, the gun takes 4 bullets to kill an enemy. At 20 meter range, the gun takes 5 bullets to kill an enemy.
that is all for today's tips and tricks. Hope that helps you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go hit the subscribe button below the video. Stay safe and peace out.